Good morning, surprise, I am going back to Orlando, Florida today. In a few hours I'm getting the flight. I have just woke up in the Crown Plaza at Manchester Airport. I arrived late last night so I couldn't really record any pre-travel stuff. I had to get a good rest, but yes, I'm going back. It's a last minute trip, last minute booking, because this week was going to be the week that I was going to do the UK theme parks. So I will get round to do them. But I got a good deal. I didn't think I would be going back to Orlando this year. So I thought, let's do it. Let's go for a week. Let's do a bit of Disney, a bit of Universal. Possibly I'm going to try and go to Clearwater again. All that stuff. Yeah, cannot wait to go back and bring you guys with me. So it's about half past six in the morning just now. The flight is 11am. I am going to get, I'm sure we're changed. Good to go. And uh, yeah, the bag, or the bags. Trusty bags are waiting at the door. So, my faithful bag, backpack. I've only got the small one for a week, so that's enough for me. Unless I try and bring something back, but that'll be fine for me now. So, yeah, that's, that's where we are at. I had a good stay here last night at the Crown Plaza, and uh, yeah, I just it's kind of sinking in now that I'm going back and I'm just going to do the odd day possibly so day passes at Walt Disney World and whatnot. I've got an annual pass anyway for Universal I'm not staying on resort but I am staying in a partner hotel so a Walt Disney World partner hotel I think it's a Wyndham uh, Lake Buena Vista right next to Disney Springs so that's going to be handy as a new Disney Springs drone show so I'm going to hopefully capture that but anyway, join me today for travel day. I'll cover a lot more stuff in regards to what kind of deal I got on this. So it was last minute. I'm a flying flying club member for Virgin and I'm a silver member. I got flight uh, miles and whatnot, so a good deal. I'll cover all that. But let's go. Let's go back to Orlando. Let's go to the airport. It's a short walk over. I'll give you some more information, get the security and get on the plane. So yeah, let's go. It's travel day to Orlando. Oh. Right, I'm good to go. Bag on. Let's get out of the hotel and walk over and get on the plane. We'll get through security and all that stuff. So, right, let's go. <laughs> Can't believe we're actually going back to Orlando so soon. Like I mentioned, I had a good stay here, good price as well, so it was £101 for the night. Really nice hotel, really good facilities. I never recorded the video separately because it was too late. But yeah, nice stay here, good price. And uh, it's a short walk, like a five minute walk to Terminal 2, and I'm flying with Virgin. So if you are just new to myself, my name is Ian. I mainly do Disney parks, Universal parks, eh, Disney cruises, all those things. But today, I'm going back to one of my favourite places, Orlando. I do a lot of videos from Orlando, Florida. And eh, we're going back today, cannot believe it. So to give you some bearings where I am, that is Terminal 1. I'm walking over towards the Varison Blue, which is in the middle of the screen there. There's a Clayton Hotel, which I stayed before. And just next to, under that pass there, which I've walked across the road, and next to the Clare Hotel is the Crown Plaza. It's a very short walk. So, I would say the Clayton and the Crown Plaza is very close to Terminal 1, but they're all very much within walking distance, if you can. I know some hotels, like the Clayton, put shuttles on that I've used before in previous travel days to get to the terminal. But I'm going to walk through the tunnel, because I haven't, well I've missed it, I haven't done it since February <laughs> which isn't a short, which isn't a long time to be fair but let's walk through the tunnel and it's not a tunnel, it's that bridge there it just officially means that I am going on holiday when I'm at Manchester when you're walking through that sky bridge or something, I, can't, I always forget the name but that one's the link from the hub to Terminal 1 I'm going to go into the hub, walk up the stairs and go into that 
bridge and walk towards Terminal 2 and get checked in. I'm in the bridge, I'm on the bridge, walking through the bridge. This is when you know, or I know, that I'm officially, I don't officially in Manchester Airport, but I hope you know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to Orlando, Florida because I always mainly fly from Manchester. I will one day fly from Edinburgh and whatnot, but this price was too good. This, I mean, this was 25,000 miles plus 263 pound return. So I've got a lot of miles because it's free to join. Virgin uh, Atlantic Flying Club member. I'm now a silver member as well, so I get benefits like that, like boarding group one and uh, other things. So uh, premium, I can use a premium check-in as well, I think. Oh. I'm nearly there, I'm going to go and get checked in. So, let me go get checked in. I'm, uh, I'm sitting in Virgin Classic, so I'm in the Classic seat, but I paid for a preferred seat, which is a little bit extra, but like £50 something. Oh, let's get checked in. As always, I have also paid for the, the Fast Track security, because I think I've been scarred for life when I came to Manchester just after Covid, and it was hours upon hours with the queue. So I've always paid the extra, whatever the report it is, £5, £6, £7 for the fast track security, just for peace of mind and that little extra long lie <laughs> if the flight's not delayed. It is a classic seat, there's no fancy upper class this time so if you want to see upper class, I have done previous travel day videos where you want to see the different types of upper class, I've done the two types on Virgin Atlantic so I've been lucky that way uh, to do that and uh, yeah the lounge as I'm trying to say I'm too excited because I'm nearly there to check in I know I said I was going to check in there but I'm not I'm still walking hey uh, yeah I do not get a lounge so this is all last minute on a bit of a budget for this trip mainly a budget for this trip because I've got a lot of trips planned this year so hit subscribe for all them coming yeah, but no lounge, so I'll probably just get like a sandwich and, and water and whatnot, and uh, go with the flow, really. Ooh, let's get in the terminal. Oh, there's mine there, look at the bottom, Virgin Atlantic, 11am flight. And look, bang on 7am, I can get checked in. So let's go and get checked in and get through security. Yeah, Orlando. Orlando, that's yeah. Okay. That's fine, sir. Have a nice one. Yeah, thank you. So just a quick update. I have checked in. I was put over to the self-check-in rather than going through the premier eh, or premium sorry, check-in. It wasn't too bad to be fair, quite easy, simple, straightforward, no queue. There was actually a queue in the premium one as well, but but yeah, I've put some clips in just now. And uh, you can check that out if you wish. So a lot of changes here in Manchester Airport. Virgin Atlantic are way up there now, just as soon as you walk off the sky bridge. There's a lot of work, a lot of hoarding, a lot of changes, even since February. So yeah, I've probably said it about four million times that I'm going to go through security, but I am now going to go through security, so I will see you all on the other side. Well, that was a breeze. That was the first time I've never had to take my laptop or electronics out of my bag. Everything stayed in the bag, and it was straight through, no issues, minutes. Literally minutes, I know I used the fast track, but that was amazing. Very, very quick. Oh, now I can just chill and relax until the flight. Will we go and check out the sunglasses? No, because I have brought them with me. I'm not going to buy another 14 million pairs if you've seen my previous videos, travel videos. Let's get some supplies. I need a basket for this, because I've only got one hand. Oh, 
Ross, I am Brew. I'm gonna have to pay the three pound. It's three pound nine pence here as well. I don't know if it's an airport thing really, but yeah, Glasgow Airport recently when I was there, the Iron Brew was three pound as well. So yeah, very expensive, but I want it. So I never got much. Some water, Iron Brew, some snacks, just to enjoy before the plane. And uh, yeah, that's it. I've got some snacks in my bag with me, so yeah, that's it. Oh, da, 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 da. let's go to Orlando. I'm going to sit and chill for the next hour or hour and a half. I'm in no rush now. I'm through security. I'm in. Going to keep an eye. No cancellations. No delays. We've been there before. If you've seen videos. Uh, but yeah, I've got sandwich, some crisps, what line brew. It's expensive. And uh, yeah, just relax and I'll have a look at some planes and whatnot around the airport after I have this. And uh, yeah, we'll get on board and see what plane, what the name of the plane of Virgin Atlantic we're going to be flying today. And uh, yeah, cannot wait, cannot wait to, I, cannot, I just still kind of try to sink in that I'm going back to Orlando. <sighs> so soon, really. Yeah, so I will check in with you very soon. But I've got to sit and relax and chill just now. And uh, yeah, take it all in. So it's around 9am just now, so it's 5 to 9. I'm going to guess, play the game of guess what side, what gate my plane is going to be. Because I have flown from all different kind of gates from here from Manchester, mainly from there. But also from over here. It seems pretty quiet here. But I'm in no rush. I'm just I'm relaxing, taking it all in and uh, so cool to be back here. Did not think I would be back here like I keep saying I know but did not think I would be back at Manchester Airport this year. I am just floating around the airport trying not to buy anything until my gate is called so I'm not going to guess the gate is too big of an airport. And long walks just in case but yeah I'm trying not to buy anything. <laughs> No sunglasses, no t-shirts, no magnets in the airport. I'm not gonna bother there is, but I'm not gonna buy any. Because I'm gonna save it all for this trip to Orlando. <sighs> See what new magnets and merch I can get. I don't know if it's a tip or not, but if you like a little quiet space like myself, sometimes it can be too busy, too much going on. And yeah, you know what I mean? Travel day. I get away from the busy hub of all the kind of restaurants and sit there. I had something to eat there, but just to get a little break from it all, you can take a little walk where it's more quieter. The seats around, daughter around, even though it's not near your gate, you can just take a little walk like I'm doing because there's a Virgin plane there and Virgin planes all over the place. But I could be anywhere, but I'm just taking a walk, I've got time. I'll be sitting for a long time anyway. So let's stretch the legs. Because I'll be no doubt eating a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of pizza. On this trip. This trip is a week, just under a week. It's like six full days, seven nights. And I'm just going to miss the opening nights of certain things. Uh, which I'm kind of gutted about in the Universals, but it's just the timing of it. A lot of the things, new things, like shows in DreamWorks land opens the like 14th of June. I'm not going to be there for it. Hopefully I can maybe get some sort of pass holder preview or something, but I don't think it's going to happen. So yeah, I'm going to miss all them, but I will hopefully be back next year. It's going to be next year. I've got too much planned this year. I've already advised, gave some clues and told that I'm going on to California this year to the Disney, the D23 Expo and I've got to do all sorts there, Universal and Disney hopefully as well so but I've got other things that I haven't mentioned so hopefully stick around for that a lot coming, a lot, lot coming yeah, don't want to get too much away we have a gate number A12 Let's go check out the plane. Um, there it is. The plane that I am going on. Soul Rebel. Not long now. Until I get on board. 
Thank you. It's time to get on board. Here we go, boarding time. Oh, just about to step on the plane. There it is. So cool. Right, so I am in 78A. 78A. We'd like to welcome on board members of our exclusive flying club. If you'd like to join the club and start collecting points today for a range of exciting benefits, look for Flying Club on our in-flight entertainment or speak to a member of the camera crew. But first we're going to show you a safety film and we'd like you to give it your full attention. It's really important that you watch and understand it because together we're all responsible for safety on this flight. <laughs> if we land on water, take your life jacket from under your seat. There is a light to attract attention. Cabin crew will hand out smaller life jackets for children. Now sit back and enjoy your flight, and thanks for watching. And flight out today, 8 hours 13 minutes. Out to the left, pretty much straight over Liverpool, Irish Sea, Ireland, and uh, quite a bit of ocean, as you would imagine. Big landfall over Newfoundland, Canada, and then just north of Nova Scotia, inbound for Cape Cod, just in south of Boston. And pretty much following the seaboard, eastern seaboard of the US down to Orlando, where the weather well, is uh, pretty decent temperature wise, a few clouds, maybe a little bit windy, but nothing up towards. And uh, once we get closer to the set point, we'll get back to you with the latest details for the arrival, as well as the latest weather. Oh, no. Here we go, back <coughs> to Orlando.
photos of it even since February. My February trip. Seems to be a lot of choice.
one now before our arrival. This is an ideal time now to start gathering your belongings together, maybe stowing away your bags back into the overhead lockers, any personal electronic equipment away that you may have been using, and also most ideal opportunity to use the washrooms if you'd like to freshen up before landing. You had to throw away the approach. Uh, disembadden it due to a little bit of a huge updraft just before landing, which caused us to balloon a little bit. Uh, if we had persisted with the landing, we probably would have used a lot of runway, which probably wasn't the best of our ideas. So we're coming up for another approach. There's nothing particularly wrong at all um, with the plane. It's performing perfectly fine. It's just the weather that was a little bit gusty. So coming up for another approach. <coughs> and should be landing probably in about 10 minutes or so. Thanks for your patience. I will see you on the other side. Oh, it feels like to be maybe, what was that, nearly two hours I think, in passport control. We are through security, wow. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, here is the tram. I'm going to have to wait for the next one. Such a long, long wait for passport control. There is this mobile thing, but I can't see that when you arrive here. I couldn't see any queue for it. And they do mention it. They do mention face recognition and scanners on the plane, but in the mobile passport app. But don't see any lane for it. I see global entry. I mean, look into that. If I can get on that, I don't know. Ah, oh, but the tram, tram time. So here we go. First trip on the, on the, the first trip, trip. First ride of the trip. Please stand clear of the doors and hold on to the handrails. The gate will be departing momentarily for the main terminal. You will be arriving on the third level of the main terminal building. 
baggage claim is on level two. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. If you're a resident, welcome to the Buddy, you're buddy, buddy, buddy. Welcome Good to hear your voice again, buddy. Fear of the reality of the parks and attractions. So strange being back so soon. Especially when I didn't think I was going to be back. Small business. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. Welcome to the Buddy Dyer. There's something for everyone. We hope you enjoy your visit. Thank you for everything that makes Orlando unbelievable. See the fountain. And here it is. Oh, that was a crazy, crazy flight. It's going to be heavily edited for various reasons, so apologies if it's not a great video on the plane. Plus the second uh, landing as well, that was crazy. That's a first for me. Yeah, I'm going to get either an Uber or a Mears to the Wyndham Garden Lake. Hotel near Disney Springs. Before I get there, Bob, I have something to say hello to you first. If you know, you know. Oh, it's got to be done. I am here right now and it's got to be done. Oh, I feel the heat. Feel the heat. Oh, to think I was standing over there. In February saying that I will not be back and you just never know what happens. I'll break down the price and everything else, maybe near the end of the video or up in the description box down below. Ah, oh, right, now another first for me is getting to this hotel. I have never been to this hotel and it is a, a Walt Disney World. Sorry, it's a partner hotel to Walt Disney World. So I'm not staying on resort but I don't know. It's going to be close to Disney Springs. It should be close to Disney Springs. Let's go. It's still early enough. It's coming up for 5 pm now, I think. Is it? What time is it? 20 to 5. Let's get an Uber. I've came back up to level 3 to the arrivals. And sometimes you can nab a taxi or a Uber here because they drop off here. And sometimes I want to collect straight away as well and go back the way, so let's try and do that. So this is the option, this is my price has come up so far, so I'm going to select this one and see how long it takes. Let's go. So they have gave me a driver, but it's saying level 2 baggage claim, so I'm going to have to go back down. This is level 3. Oh, let's go down one level. And we want to go to baggage claim 10, level 2. So this is baggage claim 10. And I am going to go out, and it says ride up pick up, but I was trying to nab to see if that worked, so it obviously hasn't worked. Right, let's see what Uber turns up. Like I said, I thought you would, maybe some, like an Uber driver would cancel or complete a lift upstairs. I can get one up there, but it's worked out okay here. Mine is arriving right now.
Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. I am here, I'm going straight in. Oh, it smells really nice. And it looks really nice. This is really, really nice. Considering the price that I paid as well, which I'll let you know near the end of the video. Right, I'm going to get checked in, check out the room. We're all checked in now to find the room. This is going to be fun, like always, with me. But I'm on the ground floor. Wyndham Garden Sunrise. And then glass door, what number am I? 3049. Uh, this way. Not much of a view, but it will do for my stay this week. Right, let's get in, let's get the key. And I'm in light on. Oh, that was the door closed. First impression is really clean, it's really modern. Is there any more lights? Mm. Right, how do I put these lights on? What's going on? Why is there no light switch? Is it start? So there's no, I know it is, there's no light anywhere in the ceiling here, which is bizarre, strange. Right. Woo! I'm putting this bag down. Oh, because I'm sick of carrying it. Oh. It's a 25 minute trip with Uber. I think I put a clip in with the price as well, but let's have a look at this room, get all the lights on. Time wise just now 5.40 and I want to take that 5 minute walk, it says a 5 minute walk to Disney Springs from this hotel so I want to go and test that to be fair but also go and see if I can buy some tickets, maybe day passes, 3 day passes, what not for Walt Disney World because I'm only here for 7 to 6 days. Here's a room with lights on. I like it. I do like it. Not much of a view like we've seen. Yes. Oh, it was a safe. I thought it was a draw. It's modern. Oh, another. T <laughs> oh, I took my fingers off. Coffee. Machines. Coffees. Teas. Condiments. Drawer space. So we've got a fridge, a very big, oh, there's a big sticker here that says pull on and pull on the wrong side. That's a big fridge. That is good. That's a win. Having a fridge in the room. Thankfully, we have a fridge in the room. I like the colour. You get this pull out thing. By looks of it. Again, I haven't really looked at the room, I've just, I've just cracked on with the exploring. Look at that, that's really cool. All the different charging points. Same there as well with the charging, the USB points. Like that. Down there as well with the USB sockets. TV. Sliding door to separate. Here's me, a very tired me, 
but I'm pushing through as much as I can. Oh, little Dove shampoos, conditioners, soap. Storage space here. You've got an iron, iron board. In here, and, uh, yeah, basic, but it does the job. Got a shower, the bath, another soap. So all that really matters is it's clean, and it is. And the added bonus is that it's modern. What's that? Is that the, this the hair dryer? points there as well, so power point outlets. Don't get me wrong, you can see it's been probably an old hotel and it's been done up, but does that matter? The price I paid was around £750 for the week, for the seven nights. That's what I've paid for this. Doesn't include any tickets or anything like that, but I thought it was pretty good. And the location next to Disney Springs, I could maybe sneak on to Saratoga Springs and get the bus into the, a park if I choose to go to Walt Disney World, which I'm trying to do. I've got to turn that fan off. Why is that? I came on. Yeah, and you get all these the welcome pack here, but the shuttle information. Uh, you need to book the shuttle. It says the schedules and bookings, so you need to book the shuttle if you want, as in like to go to Disney parks from this resort. So you do have a a shuttle and then they have uh, a QR code so there's some information there if you wish to pause the video yeah so well maybe try that or I'll try the whole walking to Disney Springs idea and get the bus in because I want to feel the Disney, the Disney magic, the Disney bus. This here, complimentary welcome pack check in special. Redeem this coupon for a complimentary welcome pack at the guest service desk. How to receive your Disney magic your way tickets. I don't know what that means. This advertisement material has been used for the purpose of soliciting sales or timeshare. I don't know what timeshare. Don't mind that. There is a little coupon here, got a coupon book for Disney Springs. So we get like food off. There's you get a discount off the balloon. I've been on the balloon a few times if you've seen those videos. Yeah, all these coupons. So that's what you get, and you can see the, the Disney touches. Here's the balloon. Yeah, so let me get settled. I will take lots of pictures of the the, 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 the of the hotel in the room and I'll try and capture a lot. I'm here all week anyway, so I'll put snippets in of different parts of the hotel hopefully as the week goes on and capture quite a lot of it. Hopefully maybe as a magnet. Let's buy a magnet. Uh, if you if you're new to watching me, I'm collecting magnets this year, so there could be a Wyndham or Wyndham Wyndham hotel magnet from this resort. How cool would that be? That would be awesome. That would be different. So yeah, I'm gonna get settled a little bit, not for too long, but then I'm gonna try and find that walk to Disney Springs. So yeah, bear with me. I'll be with you shortly. Right, let's go find Disney Springs. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna got the hat on. Got my trusty. Favourite Mickey hat on. Let's go. We're in Disney. There's the coaches all lined up. Now it's not a Disney bus. It says Epcot on that one. I'll need to figure that out. Over the week goes. I think you need to book it because the receptionist did say and it goes quite quick, so make sure you book it, but yeah, we shall see how it goes. Right now, I am this location, whatever this location is, and I am going to walk to Disney Springs. 
you can buy tickets in the hotel, there's a ticket place there. But I'm going to Disney Springs. I'm, I'm going to this, I'm not going to stay in the hotel. <laughs> I'm in Disney. I'm here, I've made it. And it's still early. I'm wearing trousers. And it's warm. Because I haven't changed. Now is it even a five minute walk? There's my hotel there. I'm going to walk here. And I can see... Disney Springs, or oh, the Disney Springs sign, I can see the sign. The bridge, Disney Springs sign. Going this way. Oh, I've got to take these stairs. Oh, I'm here. Disney Springs, here I am. There's a sign. Very, very easy walk. Ah. I think I've chose that hotel very well, in my opinion. Just saying that. Because... There's Disney Springs. And my hotel is right there. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. I'm going to get through the security checkpoint. And get into Disney Springs right there. I'm going to go to the ticket centre. Let's see what my options are for some old Disney World tickets. Right, I'm going to go in to the Disney Ticket Centre and see what my options are. We do have a promotional ticket, um, so it would be four days. Yeah. It's one park per day, you cannot repeat the parks, no park hopping. And it is a little bit of a cheaper price. I'm probably better than that, to be fair. So that would be 421. Right, okay. So the four park. And do I have to? Pick the park I'm going on, I can just go to that park, any park that day, and then that's me, I can't go back yeah, to that so one. Yeah, so you would have six days essentially to go to all four parks, so you just go to, you do one full day in each park. Cool. I'll just go for that. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, sorry, it saves you right all down. Okay, <laughs> works for me. I appreciate that though. Yeah! Ticket purchased, it was $421 for a Ford Park ticket, which I can use over a span of six days starting tomorrow, so tomorrow I will be at a park. Don't know what one yet, I don't have to pick which park. Uh, so yeah, $421, no park hopping, I need to go to that park, and that park only for that day, and I cannot go back to that park. And that's enough for me for this trip. So yeah, it is cheaper if you're coming here for the 14 days, and you can do the UK ticket, which is the seven, for seven days, 14 days. For 14 nights, 14 days or for 7 days a uh, ticket which is 500 odd pounds but I'm not here for that long and I do now have a few other things up my sleeve a few other trips uh, I'm going to go to Universal, I will do Universal I don't know how many times, maybe one day, I don't know and then I want to go somewhere else as well not saying that just yet We are back at Disney Springs. Oh, well, the Disney, this could be dangerous. This could be expensive. Thank you, I appreciate that. Wow. This is definitely out there. Look at that. <laughs> that is $60. $60. For this wildness. <laughs> Uh, I actually quite like that. There's a thick, a thick shot. How much is this? I'm not going to buy it because it's not something I would weigh up. Seventy dollars before tax. A lot of cool new things. Yeah, I'll probably get some t-shirts on this trip. How awesome is that? It's only because I've seen the pizza. That is really cool. That is really busy in here as well. It is a Saturday night. I'm going to disappear away from here soon. 45 dollars. 
Ooh. That shop was far too busy. World of Disney was far too busy. Hi Nessie. You missed me? So what do you call this structure? Is it Nessie or Brickley? Right, I'm gonna get some food and head back to the hotel. Have a quiet night. It's been a long, long day. I was at Ella Sandwich last weekend and I'm at Ella Sandwich this weekend. The difference is one was at Disneyland Paris and the other one is right here. Disney Springs, Walt Disney World. I place my order. Cannonball. Is it? For the tater tots. Is it for the tater tots? That's it. Ketchup? Yeah. Thank you, have a good night. Oh, I am lagging. And I'm hungry. Lagging, hungry. Long travel day. But, this is how close I am to my hotel. Down those stairs, left, and that's me there. So I would say I have had a successful travel day today again. That's two in a row, three in a row maybe? Is it two in a row? I think it's two in a row. I'll take that. I will take two good travel days to Orlando in a row. I have travelled safely, arrived safely. I have got my Disney tickets, I have got my bearings of where Disney Springs is. Grab some water and a Coke. This Coke tastes different, even better here in Orlando in the US. Oh. Oh. Just making noises now. Get a good rest, get a good sleep, and then at it again tomorrow. Oh, I need food, this smells good. Don't mind me, just me and my tater tots and my cannonball sub, which I'm going to have just now before we can end the video and have a chat. So I'm going to do it still very, very warm. So I'm going to enjoy this just now whilst it's warm. Let's start with the cannonballs, the meatballs sub. Just gonna open it up first. Oh, it's been halved for me. Oh, it looks good. Look at this. It's still very, very warm. Straight away, first bite. Awesome. Oh, so, so good. I would say this one, or over here, is it better than Disneyland Paris? Like I said, I was there last week, well, last weekend. Those videos should all be up now, if you want to check them out. I've had a meatball sub from there before, and it wasn't as good as this. I'm just saying. Mm. So good. Right. I'm going to enjoy this. And the uh, tater tots, basically. I don't know what they are. They are little potato things. So, let me enjoy this first. And uh, yeah, I'm going to recap today's travel day and let you know a little bit of what's happening. You already know what's coming because I've got the Disney Pass uh, for the next uh, week, basically. And yeah, anyway, we'll cover that in a moment. I'm going to have this. See you soon. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> this is going to be dangerous. Lying down. Oh, I can fall asleep. It's currently 8 pm. This time here in Orlando, which is, what's that, 1 a.m.? Is that 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 a.m. back home. I'm done, tired, and uh, yeah, like I said before, it's been a successful travel day, and the only thing is, passport control was very busy, but that's fine, that's done, dealt with. The flight, the landing, 
that was a bit uh, wild. So, a fair play to the pilots and the staff, who were all amazing, to be fair. And the, the wind, the crosswinds, and yeah, it was a very, very bumpy ride to, to land. But don't let that put you off. It was very, very safe. And uh, the pilot was very calming and, and uh, professional. Yeah. But yeah, so hopefully you have enjoyed travel day today. I am back in Orlando. Still can't really believe it even though I'm here. It has sunk in but it hasn't. It's just been a whirlwind the last kind of week. Being at Disneyland Paris last weekend. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm at Disney World this weekend. It's very, very bizarre. Very, I'm very grateful that I can do this. And... I'm going to enjoy it, I'm going to enjoy this week, I'm going to be here for 6 days, like I said I'm going to do tomorrow's a weekend still, so Sunday tomorrow locals are going to be out in the parks, which is great, but it's going to be busy, so I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know what park I'm going to go to yet, I don't know if I'm going to do Animal Kingdom, maybe that's a, a smaller park, maybe less popular for the locals, I like all the parks, they've all got their uniqueness and different things, so I'm not too sure, but what I, will, what I am going to do is I'm going to have a good sleep and wake up whenever I wake up to go. That's the plan for me for day one tomorrow. I'm not going to get up mega early because I'll just lag the rest of the week. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get a good proper sleep and be ready and enjoy the rest of uh, of the trip and uh, get up tomorrow. Because I am myself and I can just go my own pace or I can go quick and I can do things. and yeah, So I can get a lot done in a day as well so I don't really need to get up mega early to enjoy my time here at Walt Disney World and other places so I'm going to leave it there hopefully I have captured everything the hotel as well sorry the hotel is really nice and location wise it's really good I'm going to see how it works for Universal Universal's going to be a bit different I'll just get an Uber there to be back if I need to get an Uber for the park, whatever park I'm at to get back home well, for Walt Disney World if the coach thing doesn't work out then I'll just need to do that overall it might work out cheaper but I do love staying on site at Walt Disney World That you just get that immersiveness you immerse yourself into the, the whole bubble the Disney bubble which, uh, which we all enjoy so I'm going to end the video there I'm going to end it and hopefully I've captured everything. I'll put a lot more information down in the description box. If you have watched all the way through, I do appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, please hit subscribe. It keeps me motivated. It helps the channel grow. Share the video, like the video, all those things. A lot of you, I see you watch the videos but don't hit subscribe. I know it takes a lot to hit subscribe. I'm the same as well, but it does mean a lot. So, yeah, thank you all for your support. Let's have an awesome week here at Walt Disney World and in Florida and Orlando. So, a lot of surprises coming. And I will see you in next week's video. These videos are going to be Sunday, 6pm UK time. So, yeah. Follow me on social media, links down below for up-to-date stories and, and whatnot and posts. So, yeah. Take care. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.